Hi, and welcome to another anatomy painting video. In this video, we're going to be looking at the levator scapulae, the muscle on the back of the neck. The levator scapulae originates from the transverse processes of C1 to C4. It then inserts on the superior angle of the scapula. This muscle can create a couple of different actions. For starters, it will create elevation at the shoulder girdle, so it will raise the scapula up towards the neck. In fact, its name almost tells you that it's levitating the scapula, levator scapula. It also works when the scapula is in a fixed position to extend and hyperextend the neck. And then unilaterally, so if one side were to contract on its own, it will create lateral flexion at the cervical spine. The levator scapulae also holds the weight of the head when it contracts isometrically. Isometric contractions are when a muscle generates force but doesn't create any movement. When we adopt poor postures and our head pokes forward, such as, it, as in hyperkyphosis, the levator scapulae has to work much harder just to hold the weight of the head. In fact, for every two and a half centimetres that your head moves forward, it actually gains about 10 pounds in relative weight. This means that the levator scapulae will have to work that much harder just to hold the head in position. Often when someone has suffered whiplash, either from a car crash or maybe a sporting situation, the levator scapulae can become damaged and become very painful. Although massage can help the person with their pain and recovery, we do need to be very careful here and check that they've been cleared by a doctor. If we don't, then we could make the problem much worse. This muscle is a common site of tightness and dysfunction. And it's because most of us have sedentary lifestyles. We sit at desks and we let our body fall into hyperkyphosis and let our head uh, kind of poke forward. And this muscle has to work really hard to support the weight of the head. If you kind of friction on its insertion point, for most people, it'll be somewhat uncomfortable. Many of our techniques can alleviate some of the stiffness and discomfort, but really we need to be giving our clients that aftercare advice uh, so that their lifestyle can change. At the end of the day, it's their lifestyle that is putting them in these poor positions that's causing this muscle to get tight and dysfunctional. And now I'm just kind of finishing uh, detailing the muscle, going around, uh, outlining all of it to make it stand out that little bit more. And in a moment, I'm going to show you the movements. Um, I didn't manage to get lateral flexion in, so I'll mention that now. It also takes This muscle also takes the head over to one side into lateral flexion. And it'll bring the neck into extension and hyperextension and it will also bring the shoulder girdle up into elevation. I hope you found this video useful and thanks for watching.